Hello everyone. Today we're going to make a really simple character animation, something like this. Um, so you can download uh, the SVG files I provided in my description. So one is like this, and another one is a wheels. Okay. So uh, in order to make that type of animation, we're going to use a movie clip symbols. So first the thing is that here's a plan. Um, once you download this wheel image, and then this is just the uh, one graphic symbol, like a graphic image. And we're going to define this as the, uh, the animated version, as a movie clip symbol. So um, we were going to make it kind of a spin, ah, like this. Eh, it doesn't work well, <laughs> something like this. Okay. And then, once it is defined as the uh, kind of a spinning uh, movie clip symbol, we're going to attach it to uh, this the other motorcycle <coughs> with the rider. So it will look like this. Something like this. Okay. So, let's get started. Okay. So this is the final version of the animation we're going to create today. So let me test it on the web browser. See, so um, the riders still there, uh, but um, uh, the wheel is spinning, and then uh, the background, like a cityscape thing, is kind of a passing by. Okay. So let's go back to Anime CC and let me create a new document. Uh, and then um, please pro, um, download the images I provided. So there are three SVG files. Uh, motorcycle with the rider and wheels. And then um, the small town images on the back. So uh, 640 by 48, I'm not going to change anything. And 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas and create it. Okay. And then go to file and import those three downloaded uh, images, SVG files, all these three, select all, import it to um, your library. And please check the first radio button, import all path into the same layer and frame. First, and the first. Okay, so we have <clears throat> basically uh, three files, one, two, three, three SVG files. So first thing is, I'm um, going, to, as I showed you at the very beginning, I want to make this wheel SVG file as a spinning version, as an animated uh, movie clip symbol. So let's create a new movie clip symbol. You can create it by clicking this new button from the bottom of your library panel, or you can do that under insert and new symbol. Either way is fine as a movie clip. I'm going to name it as wheel underscore spin because we're going to spin it as a movie clip symbol this is important okay and then <clears throat> now I'm in will spin movie clip symbols editing window now select your will.svg file uh, from the library and drag it uh, in the properties panel I'm going to place it on the uh, uh, zero point x and y Zero, zero. Okay, so we're going to make it spin first. So um, let me highlight the one second mark, uh, frame number 24, and insert a keyframe. So I have a departure and destination, and place your mouse cursor somewhere in between, anywhere. Hold down the control or uh, uh, right click, and choose the um, uh, create classic twin. Okay, so nothing's happening yet. In your properties panel, you're going to see the rotate. I'm going to rotate clockwise uh, 10 times. So it's supposed to spin 10 times in one second. Just like this. Okay. Now go back. Nothing's happening yet. Now in the library, we will need to make another movie clip symbol with the bike and the rider. So, 
I'm going to create a, another new movie clip symbol. This time, uh, I will name it as uh, bike rider underscore animated version. Okay, so I'm in the new movie clip symbols editing window, as you can see here. And then, in your library, please choose the bike rider.svg. So uh, this is the one without wheels. And let me place it in my properties panel. Again, on zero point. Okay, let me rename this layer as uh, rider. And let me create a new layer, and I'm going to place it on the bottom for wheels. So what we need is we will need to have that uh, the spinning wheel as a movie clip symbol. So uh, in my library panel, let me choose wheel underscore spin, the one we just made, and drag it. I'm going to place it here, one here, and another one. Hold down the option, click and shift. So a front wheel and the rail wheels. Okay, so this movie clip symbol is done. Even though we have only one frame here, but um, this movie clip symbol has its own timeline. So it works anyway. So let me go back to my main scene. And then, uh, eventually I'm going to use this, bike rider underscore animation. So I'm drag and drop to your main stage. We only have a one frame, but um, this movie clip symbol has its own timeline. So let me test it. Command return. See? So um, the wheel spinning, uh, it keeps kind of a looping. Now go back to anime CC. We're gonna add some on um, the background. So first the thing is, uh, let me rename this as the uh, this layer as uh, bike rider. Let me create a new layer on the bottom. Let me rename it as a small town or background. And in here, in this bottom new layer. I'm going to choose my small town.svg file and place it. Let me place it somewhere here. Okay, and then also I need to resize my biker uh, using my free transform tool. Hold down the shift key so I can keep the same proportion. I'm gonna make it about this size. I'm gonna place it in center, just here. Okay, so let me uh, test the movie. So this bike uh, is kind of uh, the wheel spinning, is animating, but my background is not uh, moving at all. So we're going to make that. Uh, back to Anime CC. And then what I'm going to do is, let me zoom out a little bit. I want to have some more background images. So um, uh, hold down the option, click and shift in my small town layer. Let me make a copy right next to it. Just like that. Let me zoom in, make sure. Okay. I want to have another one. Hold down the option, click and shift and drag it. So I have three, okay? So next step is, uh, I'm planning to make about three second animation. So let me highlight in my small town, the bottom layer. Let me highlight the, um, the three second frame, which is a frame number 72. Insert the keyframe. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere in between anywhere 
hold down the control or right click and choose the classic twin okay now on the end of the last keyframe what I'm gonna do is as you can see that uh, I want to place my last uh, the third set of my small town image onto the same spot so highlight it the uh, last uh, the second keyframe of my small town layer and then just to move it to somewhere here so my beginning point and then the ending point is the same I have the same image like this since it's going to be looped it will kind of uh, keep repeating over and over and for the uh, the bike rider I just need to highlight the frame number three I mean the three second mark and then just to insert the keyframe that's it and then we're done let me test the movie command return on the web browser see So bike rider, uh, the bike is not moving, so yeah, the wheels is just spinning, that's it. But um, as that yeah, the background image, the small town image is kind of passing by, it creates some kind of, uh, um, something's really animating. It's an optical illusion. Okay, so that's it. So I hope that you enjoy this, uh, and thanks for watching, and please don't forget to, um, Subscribe and then set the notification for my latest video. And see you next time. Bye.